This military report is brought to you by Coleman University. A flourish of sea spray and sand marks the arrival of a Navy landing craft as Marines get back to basics. With deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan, many haven't experienced this training. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence was on the beach for the pre-dawn effort to restore that legacy. Just after dawn, offshore at Camp Pendleton's Red Beach, pilots of Navy Landing Craft Air Cushions, or LCACs, get into position. Well, we're currently one nautical mile on your stern, over. This is a joint effort between the LCACs of Assault Craft Unit 5, the Marine First Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, and the Navy's Beachmaster Unit 1. Proceed feet dry, left of center, over. All need to be in sync to ensure a successful landing and a safe offloading. For many of these Marines who are taking part in this exercise, it's the first time they've ever come ashore in a light armored vehicle. A lot of new Marines, yes sir, and uh, you know, skills atrophy over time. Uh, and the battalion as a whole hasn't really done a lot of LCAC training. Because in recent years, Marine deployments have been largely land-based. But as this recent exercise with South Korea demonstrates, Marines are emphasizing the move back to amphibious landings of getting troops and equipment ashore in quick order. In comparison, this two-day exercise at Camp Pendleton was to shake off the cobwebs, but it still offered Navy LCAT crews a chance to train up too. This is our backyard. This is where we do primarily our, most of our training, and we're right here with the Marines, so we definitely get that opportunity to work with them. For the 31 LAVs that came ashore, mark this as a dress rehearsal for What's Coming. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. And What's Coming is a massive amphibious exercise called Dawn Blitz, scheduled for June.